This is Demrich. Jamie Madge Rock. Man, this is your man's Obi Trice. This is Adlib. Yo, what up? This is Specs One. This is Fresh K. Hot Rock's the motherfucking Scrat MC. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio out here. This is Breaking Records Radio. Check them out, man. It's Breaking Records Radio and the place to be. Right now, we live in Moncton, New Brunswick. And it's my first time here. And um, shout outs to the homies, you know, MDB. And everybody you got with you, man, you guys are fucking phenomenal. You guys have uh, showed me around, and it's just, I couldn't, I couldn't dream for better. But um, right now, either way, let's take this off, the focus off of me, and we want to make this about what it's about. And right now, we're here to rep Moncton Hip Hop, and we got two generations of legends in the city right now. So um, we got St. David and we got MDB, but I want you guys to kind of introduce yourselves. Hey, what up? My name is St. David. I uh, come from Nova Scotia, living in New Brunswick for a hot minute, so this is home. And just want to say what up to everybody that follows me and supports me, and I'm excited for this interview. What up? Yo, it's your man, Mike Dow Baby, a.k.a. Mike Dow Bars. We in the place to be. What's up? And that's what MDB means. Uh, yeah, there's several There's several, several meanings. Disembogulations. Yeah, because I used to host a battle league called On The Spot, and uh, every uh, battle I tried to have an AKA or two. Oh, okay. So, AKA smack your mother in the yeah. mouth for talking this polite. Yeah, AKA, kinda, I, I know the time. But it, it was always about. MDB related. Like yeah. it always had an MDB in it. So it was super lit. Dope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my whole scheme for the battles. But um, they kind of all piled up into the rap world and that I'm into. So it's kind of cool. So um, you got to live by a million different aliases. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> you know what I mean? So no one really knows what it stands for. And I'm cool with that. That's kind of dope. You got to leave the mystery. That's the problem with the industry today is everything's so online with your Instagrams and everything. There's no, um, there's no mystery. Like growing up, especially you, I know you're from an older school. Yeah, like, wasn't that part of the, the the mystique? Isn't that part of the love of falling in love with an artist and wanting to buy their CDs and stuff? You just, you're like, ah, I learned a little bit more yeah. about this interesting character. Yeah, man. We were just saying that, like, we come, where, where I come from, it was, it was like, you, you had to go get the album to uncover, like, the little hidden gems of that person that you were into. Yeah. Nowadays, it's like, people want you to blow that door wide open first time they hear you, and they want to know everything about you. They want to follow when you're eating, when you're using the washroom, whatever. Yeah. They want to know it all. So, here we are. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like uh, the marketplace is homogenized because of it, because, you know, people get sick of uh, an artist so quickly now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... It is what it is, but we're we're just out here trying to live the dream. We do it for the love, and it's not exactly for the money, but uh, the money's how we the keep money's score. Nice. The yeah. money's nice. The money's nice. The money's how we keep score. Yeah. MD, MDB, a.k.a. Make That Bread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, now, before we got into this, you know, the homie MD, he uh, introduced us, and I'm glad he did. And now you represent a solid part of hip-hop in New Brunswick, from what I've been told. But not only that, the man is a Christian rapper. So talk about, firstly, what it was like coming up. Because you said there were some dudes before you in the scene here. So talk about a little bit, like, your come up, but, like, what it was to be, like, to represent what you represent have to go against, like, apes. You know what I mean? Because dudes who don't got no, no compass they got to, you know what I mean, stand to? Yeah, man. They go crazy. But, like, so, yeah, I'm just kind of curious, like, Firstly, what it was like, you know, obviously the old heads and stuff coming mm -hmm. up in that scene, but then proving yourself when you have, like, I don't want to say a chip on your shoulder, but you, like, you're like, yo. It's almost like what you said before, like, the way he put it was, yeah, man. you have to, it's like, we, we're already Christian rappers, so we got to, how did you word it? Basically, it goes like this. If you say, if you're, little, if you're the little guy in the fight, right, you've yeah. got more to prove. Right, and, and it, that's just that's just and it. That's You've got to prove it, right? You're the little guy in the fight. You got more people. That's exactly. It's how you weird put for it. me to be the little guy, <laughs> <laughs> but at, at, when it comes to hip hop, that's just absolutely true. Christian yeah. hip hop is considered, at large, uh, whack, corny, blah 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 yeah. blah. But that's actually not true. There is such a history behind Christian rap. Uh, shouts out to the Tunnel Rats. Shouts out to Cross Movement. Shouts out to. Grits, shouts out to T-Bone, shouts out to uh, an endless list. Like anybody I didn't mention, like that's like that's not even the the tip of the iceberg. Oh shit! For really really dope uh, rap from all eras, boom bap, right to the new wave, you name Smart. it, it's there. But as far as what's here locally, um, I'm actually pretty humbled to be honest uh, to be considered to have the role that I do have in this city. Because in, in all honesty, when I first started here, 
it was my goal was to get a message across. I got connected with a, a homeless shelter here um, who also did a lot of like street missions and stuff like that. We had a truck that would fold out into a stage and we would go all over the Maritimes completely free of charge and I would rap, other people would do other stuff and we would get our message across. So that's Yo. how a lot of the cats here heard about me. They saw me on this truck on the side of nowhere Word. rapping. Yeah. Yeah, man. And so, yeah, just just here like a month or so ago, I was I was uh, doing a set here at the Hub in Moncton, and uh, this guy came up and he's like, I don't know if you guys know, you know, what this guy actually means to me as an artist, but uh, when I saw I saw him when I was younger, and he's the reason I'm rapping, and I'm, I'm like literally I don't remember this at all. Yeah. I'm just I was around rocking somewhere, and this guy comes up and gives me props for it and whatever. So, I guess they do say that I am one of the vets, one of the originators here, but as far as locally to this city, uh, there were people before me, uh, Nails, he's still going with it, amazing DJ, amazing MC. Um, one of my protégés, got to give a shout out to Jay Forbes, definitely was a guy that came under my wing in the beginning and I kind of came under his later on. He, he helped me learn the studio stuff because I was just me out there with the mic, with I didn't know mic. nothing, right? Yeah. Um, and outside of that, I got to pay respect to, I remember when I first came to Moncton, this guy doesn't really hit up very much, but he was a freestyle battler that was around everywhere here. His name's PDP, shouts out to PDP. And everybody says that he never gets enough respect, but definitely like at 18, 19 years old, and I'm 32 now, coming to this city, he was one of the first rappers that I encountered in the city. He was probably doing it here way before I was. Uh, shouts out to Mac Biz. He was doing it here for a minute too. Um, so. There's a lot of people that definitely laid the groundwork before me, but as an artist with a message that I wanted to get across, I knew if I didn't come ill with it, if I didn't come hard with it, they weren't going to hear it. And uh, I've been able to earn respect with these guys. MDB used to run a battle league here, and uh, I battled in some battles through his league. And Oh, word. Yeah, man. man so how do you do people. battle rap? But keeping it on the Christian path too. That's interesting. I'm like, I'm, I'm like the big brother that beats you up in the backyard. <laughs> I love you the whole way through. Facts. I love you the whole way through. Big that facts. is dope. That's dope. That is dope. Too that is facts. fucking dope. Oh yeah. All right, man. Well, so let's get into you a little bit, my okay. uh, MDB, my man. So we first met back in Toronto. You were doing a show from a man, Spash K. That's right. Yeah. And um, yeah, man. You know, we've kind of we we. I wouldn't say we really stayed in touch, but we've been on each other's social media, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? We, we, you know, we've been watching each other. We've been watching each other, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. um, You know, and people who've been watching the show or listening to the show for a long time, they would have heard your song, well, that was probably back about three years ago, so we yeah. played a couple of your joints off the CD, Dedication. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so tell the people a little bit about your story now. And because I found it interesting how, like, you know, because I'm from Bell City, which is a small city itself, mm -hmm. so it's like, we have that same thing like we have generational like a lot of people in bell city and there's no like i'm the same way as you like i don't like to like act, talk hockey but a lot of dudes look at me like i'm like the legend in the city you like yeah. like yo maloney was the dude who put it down but there were dudes before me who put it down right so i always feel like it's very important to express that Absolutely. like your skies and your stunts and all these dudes yeah. so um i just think it's cool because you almost come from that generation of me yeah. And then he's that generation where it's like people got to look at, but then you got the generation before you. But either way, oh yeah. What I want you to do is um, break down kind of a little bit the history, like who you are, how it came to be, the Moncton hip hop in your eyes, all, right. all of that kind of. Cool. So I'm from Amherst, Nova Scotia, and where I'm from, they don't really have a hip hop scene. I mean, there was a couple cats that were spitting. Shout out to Biggs, uh, but we kind of came out around the same time, and um, so basically. I came to Moncton and saw hip hop for the first time live. Oh, right. um, Nails was performing at a Ghetto Sox show, ah. and um, basically that was the first rapper I've ever seen live. And so I stayed for the whole show, and it basically hypnotized me. And like this art form that I had loved for so many years growing up, that I never thought I could do because I was from Amherst. They they were like. They showed me like, yo, we're in Moncton and it's a city, but you know, we're still in the Maritimes and we're still making amazing music. Shout out to Classified, he was the first uh, the first uh, Nova Scotia MC that I ever heard spit. He was in a group called Ground Squad and that really changed my life. Um, and so I realized that it could be possible and so when I came to Moncton, uh, 
I um, got introduced to a, a man named Trip from Dark Poets, which was one of the original groups in the city. Yes, shouts out uh, Dark Poets. That's one I forgot. Dark yeah. Poets, shouts out. So um, he kind of gave me the kick in the ass to say, okay, you're good. So now we got to get you in the studio. And basically, like, uh, I recorded my first shit in uh, 08, I believe. Maybe early or late 07. But, uh, yeah, and so we came a long way since then. And I got to do an amazing amount of stuff with an amazing amount of people. Uh, I never thought that I would get to do any of these things because I'm legally blind. And so I don't really get around like everyone else does and stuff. So I never thought that I would go all over the Maritimes tour. And I thought I never thought I would make it to Ontario. I never thought I would do any of these things. And now I'm like 10 years deep and I feel like I can do anything I put my mind to. It's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Um, we, we're still working. I got a mixtape coming soon. Uh, I've got three albums out on MDB adot.bandcamp.com and uh, you can catch all three of those um, please support local uh, Moncton shit yo shout out to all the MCs in the city man it's such a rich talent pool here it's crazy so yeah man um, thank you very much for this opportunity yo no doubt no doubt man and before we wrap it up, too, I do want you, because I know that you don't have a project that you're necessarily promoting right now. Yeah, man. But I know that your history is rich. So I just want you to let the people know, you know, a little bit about how they can find what you do have out. For sure. And if you do have any future plans, you know, whether they not be right now, but kind of let the people know. Maybe the people, you know, especially if they've heard of you or whatever, you know, kind of let them know what, what's, yeah, what man. you got bubbling. For sure. So uh, I am working on an album, but I'm upgrading the studio right now. So... I'm not actually able to record at the moment, just waiting on some software and some stuff like that. I've got a lot of it done, but I still have a ways to go. So anybody who wants to support me in the Moncton City, you can come get one of the sickest fades in town from the awesomest barber that's not a barber. Yo! Um, you do fades? Yeah, man, I fade clean. I know this before I came yeah, out here, I shaved my shit clean. <laughs> uh, Next time you come, I got you. No, no my charge, man. man, for my sure. man. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, uh, but to find me on, on online, uh, go on SoundCloud, search St. David with no vowels. S N T D V D. Oh, you find my music. dope. Yeah. You know what? I hate making interviews about me, but yo, my name used to be Maloney. Yeah. Back in 2015, I changed it to MLNY. Cut the vowels. Hey! hey. hey. Oh, man, I knew there was an energy. Come yo, on. that's an energy oh. right there, man. Fuck vowels. Yo, if you <laughs> fuck with vowels, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, the MVP, vowels are coming You don't you. got no vowels. No! Yo, fuck vowels. Fuck vowels. <laughs> no, but you know what? Thank you so much, guys, for your time. My pleasure, bro. I appreciate it. Before we go, much just much let them know. Um, I don't know what you guys do for social media, but let them know how they can find you, follow you. Uh, Facebook.com slash St. David Music. Everything else is to come from there. But in this case, the vowels are in it. <laughs> Yo, uh, Facebook slash MDB Music INC, Instagram MDB Music INC, uh, Twitter I don't really fuck with anymore, uh, Bandcamp is mdbadot.bandcamp.com, uh, I've got mixtapes on Dat Piff, just search MDB, um, man, I got so many YouTube videos on my channel, uh, Mike Dow Baby, search the channel. It's lit. Um, thank you so much, bro. Yo, thank you guys, man. It's Breaking Records Radio, and we signing out. Peace. Peace.